I'm Michael Paluska. The pandemic upended our lives in a lot of different ways, especially where, when, and how we work. It changed really everything, and you might dread going back to the office, but one Tampa man tells me he is banking on it, and he thinks it's the best thing for the Bay Area. One of the complaints that people have had is the length of the commute. Dr. Seth B. Foreman gave us a tour of his new development on North Florida Avenue, touting why it's better than a high rise. It's not free to park in downtown Tampa. It certainly is free to park here at Magdalene Center. As homes continue to pop up north of Tampa, Dr. Foreman is eyeing the suburban office worker. As far as some of the larger type of firms, they are seem to be downsizing, but maybe they're downsizing by having 40,000 square feet downtown to wanting 5,000 square feet in five or six locations in five or six different suburban areas. And he is confident in his new investment, renovating the rundown office complex. We have three of the largest, fastest growing zip codes intersect right here at Magdalen Center. Over 10% year over year growth population wise. I don't know that Tampa is as unique in terms of everybody across the country is figuring out how they like to work. Stacy Haller is a chief career advisor for ResumeBuilder.com. A recent study by them shows nine out of 10 companies will require employees to return to the office by the end of the year. But she says it won't look the same. I came out of an office before the pandemic where people were working shoulder to shoulder in like assembly lines. I don't I don't think that type of office space is going to cut it anymore after people have had some work from home and some less space. If you see the big fountain, pull in. There's no other fountain. How much does a really big fountain like this to draw attention to people cost? This one is going to cost about 80000 I don't have a good financial reason why I did it, except that I had to do it. Okay. Which well, shows that you uh, trust this area and you're going to put eighty k into a fountain. Dr. Foreman going all in. You're not worried about the investment or people going back into their homes and not going to the offices. Do I look worried? No. No, I'm not worried. I don't worry very often. In Tampa with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.